welcome to my channel. Well, if you look at uh, any of the military surplus survival kits and stuff, a lot of times for uh, aviation and stuff, they had a little fire starter tinder kit. They sell them on Amazon for about $12. And I just wanted to show you something that you can make. You probably already know this, but you can make this on the cheap for uh, you know, less than $4. And, uh, all it is, you know, like a lot of people, this is their, this is their go-to fire starter, you know, big lighter, which is fine, you know, they're, they're good. When they get wet, you have to know how to dry them and everything, but, you know, even if the fuel runs out, you can, you still got that sparkable insert. Um, same with these, you know, that you, you can see them. I tend to, if I'm going to buy disposable lighters, I tend to go with Bic just because they're reliable, uh, they, d they don't freak out on you. These are a hit and miss type of thing with these brands. A lot of like this. Now they have an adjustable thing, flame thing that you can mess around with. And again, you can just peel this off and get to the sparking, you know, insert a little easier. Uh, but if you want to, if, you, if you're messing with uh, wet stuff and things like that, you're going to use up a lot of fuel if you're just sitting there holding this. And trying to start a fire, you know. Um, if you had a little thing like a tea light, you know, that's another possibility. Uh, some people carry waterproof matches. It's just basically regular matches that's been dipped in wax, you know. So, I mean, it, it helps it make it waterproof. Not wax, but like petroleum. Yeah, wax. Um, now, the spark light kit is basically, it's like braided cotton, you know. So... The improvised thing is you go to, you can probably build this without, you probably got the supplies, most of the supplies in your possession already. Or you can, you know, almost free. You can get 100 cotton balls for $1.25. All right, so that's, that's ingredient number one to make this, cotton ball. Ingredient number two, petroleum jelly. Because you can start this on fire by itself, but as, as far as like making it a fire tender, you just do this. Now, the problem with this is, of course, it's sticky, you know. It's sticky and it's messy, and if you put it with your other gear, and that's all you got to do. You can you can take candle wax and and pour some on it and do just the same. You don't have to completely super coat it or anything like that. See how sticky that is? And the super cheap way to contain that, this whole kit, when I get finished with ingredient number two, you know, the cotton balls petroleum jelly this will make a ton of these kits you know i mean you can see i just barely put anything on it all right let's put that there uh, this is a super cheap way you know of doing it you get yourself a little ziploc bag eh. and you can see already the problem with ziploc bags if your hands are wet or anything you know opening these are a little pain um the idea is that it's just something to keep that from getting all over your hands. Which I will instantly fix by wiping my hands. Now, I would suggest you get a clipper lighter. Because you can refill them. And the main thing is, you can take this little insert right here out. The sparking insert. Well, let me show you my little kit here. I suggest you find some little reusable, reclosable. I like these with the little tab like this because they're less likely to mess up. This has not been coated with uh, wax yet, but you take that little clipper insert out and it's just basically, it's the same thing as those fire tender, you know, sparker things. You can, mm. got wax all over me. There we go. That's all you need is a little spark to get this going. So you put that in there. Now, if you were to include a few extra little flints, I got like 500 of these for like 9 or $10. Um, you can spark away for quite a while. Now, it's not the most ergonomic holding that little thing like that, but this is a nice little compact kit 
that uh, stores real well. Uh, you know, you can find fish and tackle boxes or, you know, things that they sell hooks in and stuff like that. Anything like that. Um, you don't even need this. See how it's more compact than that? This is a, this will, this will get you going for, you know, a few fires. Uh, if you wanted to, you know, let's see if we can put even a, a little tea light in here. I might have room now it's with all these cotton balls. You might not have room. Nah, I don't want to mess that up. Um, but yeah, there you go. Just a little saves money because, you know, if you look at it, cotton balls, $1.25. Flint's clipper lighter insert. Like I said, you can find, you can find one of these thrown on the parking lot and it's still got a good flint in it. That's another area where you can get flints is just tear these apart. Take, you know, pry this off pull that thing you know a little wheel off and bam, your, your uh, flint is underneath there and it's a pretty good sized flint you can use those on other lighters too and uh, yeah so there you go i don't want to make this super long i just wanted to show you that you know you can make multiple kits like this and then petroleum jelly so you know maybe 375 for the whole thing because I've seen them sell clipper lighters. They might sell, usually they're like a dollar, a dollar twenty-five or something, you know. So three ingredients, maybe a dollar twenty-five of each for your initial kit. If you don't already have cotton balls, you can eliminate one dollar twenty-five right there. If you've already got flints and stuff, you, uh, you those are not absolutely necessary because I think the original kit didn't come with extra flints. And uh, yeah, save yourself some money. And you can just store these anywhere, you know. There's no problem with them catching on fire, or, you know, like butane lighters getting too hot and blowing up or anything like that. Uh, relatively inert ingredients. And uh, you can expand it to bigger sizes and everything else. Um, you can still go with the old school, just carry a lighter if you want. But, I, you know, like I said, if you want something that's a little bit more durable, you can even put a little small ferro rod in there. Uh, you know, a small one to fit in, maybe the length of that or sideways. And uh, you would have another way of doing a spark. You just need a little scraper with it. See, this method with the magnesium and everything, it, it gets hotter. The magnesium gets hotter. There used to be a little scraper attached to it. And then this is a little ferro rod. So you could just take one of these, something like this, a ferro rod about that size, and snap it off to make it fit in there. And a little piece of metal to strike it with. And you got a pretty good kit. For cheap. I'm always looking for ways to save money. You know. You can you can spend a lot of money. And uh, $12 is not a lot of money to some people. But you can shave off for less than 5 You can make multiple kits like that. For less than $5. Yeah, it's not going to have a national stock number. It's not going to have a little cool little flap that opens up. And... You, you've got more tinder in the other ones, you know. Um, but you can substitute these cotton balls for something else if you find something that works just as well. And these things, man, you look at it and you think, ah, that's not much. But, man, they go for a while with that on there. And if you want to coat it more or you want to put wax in there, it'll it'll burn like a little, a giant candle, not a little candle. Because this is, you only got one little wick. This, you've got all these. So, there you go. You ambered on way too long. Thank you for watching, and have a nice day. This is that same cotton bottle. I haven't added anything extra to it. That's a pretty good size flame. Fire and all.
See, and if I put more wax, you know, I don't think it's done good, but you really don't need a whole lot. If you can't get your fire started with that, then you don't need to be out in the woods. There you go. It's still somewhat going. Get away from my slingshot. Get away from my slingshot. There's still a little bit left in there. They're doing room inspections or whatever. It said five minutes. I timed the one across for me and it only took them one minute. 